to aid the no spend. Um, so far, so good. There has been no spending outside the budget. I had an increase on one bill that I just have to take a hit on. So that is a budget adjustment. And then there was something I forgot to write into my budget that um, was already set up, but I just didn't. I just didn't put it in. It was a small subscription, but it's something that I need. Have the little flavours that I got in B and M. The pack of four. If you happen to see in the B and B and M haul, it's on my channel. I'll link it for you. Sweetener, sugar, caster sugar, and granulated sugar. Caster sugar is a smaller grain, so it's easier to bake with, uh, in my opinion at least. And granulated I use for tea. I don't always buy the two of them, but I'm going to this time. So those tea bags at the back are Aldi brand, which will be used, but kind of grudgingly. I shouldn't have bought them. That was one of the budget, uh, one of the brand things that I just should stick with. I don't love that coffee, but I'm going to persevere with it for another week. Um, I do have, I do have some of this if I want a nicer coffee. The cheapest chips. I need to see if I've got any of these left under the stairs. Vitamin D, multivitamin. Uh, the kind of boost one, I think it's kind of like Baraka, and then that's the vitamin C. They were all Aldi, and that was Tesco's. This is what I call my pantry. It's an under the stairs storage that is full of crap, but also there's some shelving back there that I can keep things in. It's very empty at the moment. That was really full last year. I don't have any of my Baraka boost style thingamajigs from Aldi, so I'm going to pop one of those down on my list. And this is what I like to see. Yep, I need milk. And then the rest of the fridge is bare. Along with my vegetable basket, this is like my little baking station. It's just over my fridge. Here I keep these two boxes of stuff for baking and there's other things that I keep down here. And if I'm making bread, I use this mixer on this side. Um, got my cookery books there, some of my baking tools and <laughs> my iron, <laughs> as you do. I have tons of these. Maybe that's a sign that I need to make some muffins and cupcakes. So I'm forming my list and my meal plan at the same time based on what I have but also it's liable to change because if I come across um, a bargain tomorrow I could change the meal plan again. So that's just the way I roll around here. So anyway I've gone through these boxes and I've discovered that they're dirty and also that I need to split them so that I can use up some stuff so I put stuff I need to use up on one side and I'm going to put the stuff that well, I just have kind of all the time on the other side. So I need to use up the custard. I need to use up some syrups. I need to use the gelatine for something, but I don't know what. These are my meals. You can assume there's going to be a vegetable or a salad with everything. I just don't write it down because I buy the same things kind of every month and I use the same vegetables so I don't bother writing them in because I kind of know at this stage. There's my list, that's my budget, is 70 euro and then 2 euro 83 from last week. If I can, what I will do is to get a butcher's meat deal um, if it's within budget, if not it'll just be Aldi but we will see. Um, tracking my grocery spending and grocery. That was not from Aldi, that was from a local shop. And for a milk and a bread, that's what it cost, which is a lot. So I'm gonna try and stock up extra on my milk this week and I don't need bread because I've made bread. So if you're enjoying the series of No Spend September, please hit the notification bell and you will see every time that I am uploading. Uh, click subscribe because it really supports the channel and shows other people what's happening over here too. Give it a like, it lets YouTube know that you like it or give it an unlike if you don't like it. And please comment below and uh, I will talk to you tomorrow for my Aldi grocery haul.